Hello everyone. So today we will talk about how to write your plan, detailed plan in a group planning exercise. You see everyone talks about group planning. They, you all know that first of all you have to prioritize, there will be four or five tasks, you have to prioritize in the order of their urgency and importance. That is, saving the human life becomes the first task to be performed. In the same manner, for the task for which very less time is available, that comes in the urgent category and that becomes your higher priority. So that way you will decide first, second, third, fourth and fifth priority depending upon the number of tasks that you have to perform. Now you have allotted the resources, what resources will be in use, you have divided the team members, how many team members will be there in each subgroup. So all the plan is ready and you have thought of a plan of action in your mind. Now the time comes that you have to write the plan. Now generally candidates do not take this thing seriously. They think it is just a plan to be written, you can write in any manner. You see, remember, this is the only written record available with the GTO. Psych has got the full written record. IO makes notes in his sheet and GTO makes notes also. But then finally, if he has to fall back to see about your performance, then this is the only written record available with him. Before finalizing his result, whether you are recommended or not recommended, he will certainly have a relook at your group planning exercise detailed plan. Now here everything matters. Your handwriting, cutting over writing, what type of plan you have made, because this is your original plan. After discussion, it will be a common plan. So, what was your original thinking? What was your original plan? Where do you stand? That makes a very important uh, thing to be considered in for your recommendation. So now, after understanding the importance of writing the detailed plan in a systematic manner, let us understand what should be the format. You see, I uh, I'll show you a format here. You see that in a small tabular form, if you can write and represent, you can just draw uh, lines by hand only when you practice at home in this format. So this will be very systematic, methodical and organized. So when the GTO have a relook on your group planning exercise uh, detailed plan, it will create a very good impression that this person is very well organized and methodical. So here is the table, just have a look at it. The columns are first priorities, number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Second column is number of team members you will allocate, somewhere 1, somewhere 2, somewhere 3, like that, as many team members that you write. Then with what will be the mode of conveyance for these members to reach the destination, the place where the task is to be performed and the distance. So you mention the vehicle, whether it's a bike or cycle or by walk or by run. Then you mention time to be taken. So approximately two minutes for one kilometer by a motorized vehicle. It may take less also, but depending upon the road conditions and various other factors, Approximately, if you take time, 2 minutes per kilometer and then you write if it is 4 kilometers, it should take about 8 minutes. If it is 2 kilometers, it should take about 4 minutes. So, so that way you will mention the approximate time taken to reach the destination. And then what resources other than your vehicle, what are the other resources like local manpower, local people, uh, they, there may be some tractor, there may be some uh, uh, vehicles on the roads, there may be some volunteers 
or any other hidden resource or obvious resource whatever you will be using that also you write here so when you have written this it will become very easy for you to recollect and write your detailed plan after just having a slight look on this and uh, another important thing is that you will write the meeting point and meeting place and time at what time you will reassemble and at what spot so that is also very very important because uh, telephone facilities are not available in general public it may be available at the main level crossing it may be available at the police station or at the hospital or district headquarters but public telephones will not be available and you will also not be having your mobile with you so if you do not before leaving you do not tell where to assemble and what time to assemble there will be lot of confusion so this is very important point that you should mention in your detailed plan also so first mention all these things as i have shown you then write the meeting point and meeting time and then you write your detailed plan so detailed plan will be a narrative like the same way that you write your tat stories about 10 15 or even 20 lines depending upon the time left with you that much detailed plan you should uh, write and write neatly without any cutting and overwriting take it like your psych test only where cutting and overwritings are not allowed so when you write in this manner it will give a very good impression and if your plan is perfect your plan itself is perfect it's it's almost the same which the group has arrived at a common plus mind me your level will go high you will be recommended and even when you are recommended your level should go sufficiently high so this is the organized manner you are presenting in front of the gto so i hope uh, and i am giving you uh, a written plan also i have i am giving you have a look at that in this the plan has been written in a very concise manner because of the constraints of the space you can write a bigger and a detailed plan also in case time permits so thank you for watching